Hello and welcome to another video by www.electricalpereview.com. In this example, we're going to be covering load sharing transformers, finding the maximum power that they can output without overloading. For this example, we're taking the same transformers as last time with the same ratings. This time the problem is asking, find the maximum power that they can deliver without overloading. Once again, T1 is rated for 1500 kVA and 6% impedance. T2 is rated for 1000 kVA and 4.83 impedance. And we're looking for a maximum load. So first things first is we have to figure out which transformer would overload first if the other is at full load. So we can start out by rating our equations that relate S1 prime to S2 prime which is S1 prime, or transformer 1's power contribution, is the same as S2 prime times the fraction of S1 over Z1 divided by S2 over Z2. And similarly, we know that transformer 2's contribution, which is S2 prime, is equal to S1 prime times the ratio of S2 over Z2 divided by S1 over Z1. Now, we want to find what our transformer 1 contribution would be when transformer 2 is at full load. That means when transformer 2 contribution is equal to its rating. So that would give us S1 prime is equal to S2 times S1 over Z1 divided by S2 over Z2. These terms right here cancel, S2 and S2, and we're left with S1 prime, or transformer 1's power contribution, when transformer 2 is at full load, is going to be the rating of transformer 1 times the ratio of Z2 over Z1. Next, same thing over here. We want to find transformer 2's contribution, which is S2 prime, when S1 prime is equal to S1, or when S1, or when transformer 1's power contribution is equal to its full load rating, which is, of course, S1. So this means that S2 prime will equal S1 times the ratio of S2 over Z2 divided by S1 over Z1. Once again, these terms right here cancel out, and we're left with transformer 2's power contribution, S2 prime, is going to equal transformer 2 rating, which is S2, times Z1 impedance over Z2 impedance. Now that we've established these two relationships, we're going to plug in our values and see which transformer will actually be operating in an overload condition when the other is operating at full rated load. So let's start with our contribution from transformer 1. We have S1 prime is going to equal 1500 kVA times Z2 over Z1, which is 4.83 over 6. This yields S1 prime equals 1207.5 kVA. Next, for S2 prime, we've got S2 prime is going to equal 1000 kVA times Z1 over Z2, which is 6 divided by 4.83. This gives us S2 prime equals 1000 242.2 kVA. Now let's stop and look at this for a moment. What exactly does this mean? Well, this means that transformer 1 is going to be outputting 1207.5 kVA when transformer 2 is outputting 1000 kVA. Transformer 1 will not be the limiting transformer because it would not be operating in overload since 1500 is greater than 1207.5. Next, let's look at transformer 2. This means that transformer 2 is going to be outputting 1242.2 kVA over here 
when transformer 1 is going to be outputting 1500 kVA or when it's operating at full load. Since 1242.2 kVA is greater than its rating of 1000 kVA, this means that transformer 2 is our limiting transformer. So to tie it all together, to find our SL max right here, we know that the load, SL, is going to equal the sum of both of our transformer contributions, S1 prime plus S2 prime. Since transformer 2 is our limiting transformer, we're going to have our contribution from transformer 2 equal to our rating of transformer 2. And we're going to have our transformer 1 contribution equal to our transformer 1 contribution when S2 contribution is equal to its maximum rating. We know that in this condition right here, transformer 1 will not be overloaded and neither will transformer 2. So we can rewrite this as our total max load is going to be S1 prime, which is going to be this formula right here, S1 times Z2 over Z1, plus our new S2 prime, which we know is going to be our transformer 2's rating, so plus S2. That gives us a maximum load of, we already found this out to be, 1207.5 kVA and our S2, which is 1000 kVA. This gives us a total maximum load of 2207.5 kVA. That means that the biggest load that these two transformers in parallel can be connected to without causing either transformer to operate in an overload condition is 2207.5 kVA. Okay, that's it for this video. For more examples and to visit our premium review course, come see us at www.electricalpereview.com.